Hello and welcome to Holman Online Training Academy. In this video, we'll be running through some basic fault finding on the 460R control panel. This is also applicable to the 445R control. Whenever the control panel does something or doesn't do something, it will give you a code. For example, 51 for door open, 50 for stop, and 52 for door close. A common fault code is 01. This is a 24 volt stop circuit wired into either terminal X1, X3, or plugged into X10. This could be either an emergency stop button, an interlock from another system like an airlock, or an anti fall device if fitted. Fault code 02 covers the 24 volt safety switches on the bottom rail. Most roller shutters won't have these switches fitted, so the fault will probably lie with the curly cable. Check to see if there is a green light on the safe edge PCB. If there are no lights, check to see if the curly cable has been pulled out at either end. If there are no lights, then replace the curly cable. Error code 3 is a signal for the safety switches for the manual override of the motor. There are two types of manual override on the motor, either the hand chain or a winding handle. For a hand chain, see if the door will raise using the chain. If it does, pull the green toggle and disengage the chain. If the door has an emergency winding handle or pin drive, remove from the back of the motor. Press stop on the control panel to clear the error code. If a double line is showing, there's a connection issue with a 6 core comms cable between socket X40 and the motor. Finally, if none of the above work, check the type of limits in the motor. Digital limits are plugged into X40 on the control and program 00 is set to 00. If a cam limit is in the motor, they're plugged into X42 on the control and program 00 is set to 01. We use this if we're upgrading an old Hormon control system using the existing motor. Error code 04 covers the key switch on the front of the control panel. Normally this is set to the 2 o'clock position for normal operation. 12 o'clock position is used to isolate the push buttons. At the 2 o'clock position, if it still doesn't work, Disconnect it from the push button PCB behind the lid. A common fault code is code 11. This is the infrared sending receiver in the bottom rail. With 11 showing on the display, press and hold the down button. If the door doesn't close, the fault will probably lie with the curly cable. If the door does close on dead man control, the fault will probably be with the infrared sending receiver in the rubber. We can check the LEDs in the safe edge PCB to see if the red SKS light is illuminated. If it is, the optics aren't seeing each other. Check for damage. If the bottom rail isn't straight or there's deformation in the rubber, the sensors can't see each other and the control panel thinks there's an obstruction. A hole in the bottom rubber will allow water and debris to block the signal for the sensors. We can remove the sensors and line them up outside on the edge of the door leaf. If the red SKS light goes out, the sensors can see each other, so we know there's an obstruction in the bottom rubber. If the light doesn't go out, we recommend replacing the sensors. Error codes 12 and 13 are extra safety elements plugged into X20 and X21. On this door we have a low level photo cell. We adjust it so the green light shows up and it aligns up with the reflector. On roller shutters under two and a half meters high and on all roller grills, we have a high level infrared sending receiver lintel trap guard. Plugged into X20, this will come up with error code 12 when encountered an obstruction. If this door doesn't have high level sensors, there will be a low level photoelectric cell. Error code 21 says that the motor is physically blocked. This is usually caused by a missing phase. Please check the incoming phases and the 10 amp fuses on the control card. 
we have fault code 88, 8 or 6. This indicates a short circuit on the 24 volt system, either caused by a damaged cable or the push button PCB being plugged into the wrong socket. Disconnect one plug at a time till the display returns to normal and the fault is identified. Finally, if you're still having problems or we haven't covered your particular issue in this video, please feel free to call our technical support line and we'll be happy to talk you through it. Thank you for watching this presentation.